Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Mike Blaney, bariatric surgeon in Augusta, Georgia. And today's topic is uh, problems with the gastric remnant stomach after gastric bypass surgery. As you're probably aware, the gastric bypass operation involves dividing the stomach into two segments, a small upper segment called the gastric bypass pouch that receives food, and then the gastric bypass remnant. Uh, this portion of stomach is left in the patient, but it's excluded from any future uh, examination by uh, the use of an endoscope. Uh, there can be various pathologies or problems that could arise in the remnant stomach years later. The most common would be potential ulceration in the remnant stomach and occasionally we'll find patients having complaints that make us suspect that they may have an ulcer. Ulcers in the uh, gastric remnant can develop just as they would normally in any um, individual who had not had weight loss surgery and the typical causes of ulcers are going to be uh, related to uh, uh, taking anti-inflammatory medications such as uh, Motrin, which is ibuprofen, or other medications uh, that are in this family of drugs that are used for arthritis. Other potential causes of ulcers would be uh, Helicobacter pylori, which is a common bacteria that many people have in their stomach that we believe also promotes the formation of gastric ulcers. Um, Stress is believed to also uh, promote increased acid secretion, which possibly could also lead to ulceration in the, uh, in the stomach. And when we do an endoscope, suspecting that we might find an ulcer in their gastric pouch, uh, we find that it's normal, but the patient continues to have symptoms that might suggest an ulcer or even upper gastrointestinal bleeding. It can be quite frustrating if the patient continues on with uh, these symptoms because there's no way to diagnose any problems in the remnant stomach other than doing surgery. It's rare, but on occasion we'll have to do surgery in order to uh, place a gastroscope through the abdominal wall into the remnant stomach to make a diagnosis. Other potential problems in the gastric remnant uh, would also uh, include tumors, uh, benign or malignant, uh, tumors such as uh, gastric cancer and, and this obviously is very rare but certainly could happen. So these are really about the two main things that we're concerned about in the remnant stomach is the potential for developing ulcers with gastrointestinal bleeding and the possibility of developing uh, tumors such as gastric cancer. Uh, it's very uncommon and certainly we don't worry too much about this because it is very very rare but uh, these are things that we explain to our patients in the preoperative evaluation. Hope you enjoyed watching our video and look forward to future topics.